Hey, this is Rick, and welcome back to a, uh, another health and uh, product review. Uh, from time to time, I like to showcase things that I think may work for our community. This is going to be on my Fibro 66 channel and not my SMARD 5A channel. These are compression socks. Um, I've been having some problems with uh, circulation and uh, nerve issues and uh, varicose veins in my legs. And I've been having a lot of uh, nerve pain and just uh, discomfort in general. So I thought I'd try these out. Now, I'm 53 years old and um, you've seen the older ones that uh, <laughs> our older um, grandparents and parents uh, used to wear compression wise, uh, you know, for diabetes diabetic socks and uh, you know to improve circulation and I really didn't want to wear those um, around that much in like uh, out or if I'm wearing shorts or something so I decided to try some of these other ones that are out now they've got different colors like these are black and gray and blue and gray and white and gray and black and then there's just standard black with like the uh, copper toe and I actually wore these in my last video on my trampoline video the um, rebounder video uh, you can take a look at that. I'll put a link to that up top there. If you want to check that out, you can just see what they look like. I'm not probably going to put these on. I may take them out and just show you, but um, it's hard for me to put these on in general. So I'm going to try to take them out of package and then just kind of give you a, a basic review on them. But that's what they look like. I thought I'd give these a try. Um, you know, the ones you get uh, from the insurance companies are way too expensive. So I thought I'd try some of these cheaper ones that you can get on eBay, Amazon, some of your other uh, smaller sites. They usually run about five, six, seven dollars a pair versus some of the real expensive ones that can go up to $35, $40 a pair, depending. And uh, I thought I'd try these cheaper ones out because uh, obviously my budget's not as great as it used to be. Okay, so here we go. There's the socks I just showed you. And uh, I'm going to take the XXL version of these. Um, I have larger feet. My feet are 12 inches, so I'm going to try the uh, XXL ones. They're about the biggest ones they make in these. Of course, they're made in China, so... They may run a little bit smaller. I have had these on before. This is just another pair. Like I said in that video, check them out. Okay, so that I give a nice thorough review without stretching the socks out, coming out of the package. They're measuring about 21 inches. That's a pretty good length there, I guess. It's going to probably be below the knee for most people. Maybe they will pull up. Um, depending on how tall you are. I'm six foot two. And like I said, without putting them on, check out that other video because uh, I know I'm going to struggle putting these on. Now, the best way to do that is to roll them up. So let's take one of these other random packages here then. So these, like I said, ran, I guess I got about three of them for about 15 bucks shipped to the house. And these have been working pretty good. They're pretty heavy duty. I don't know about this copper that they claim helped you or not, whether it's just a gimmick. I'm not really sure. I mean, the, just the compression of it has helped my legs every time. I, I wear them all the way up to maybe sometime right before I go to bed, and uh, they do give you a little bit of uh, relief. Maybe it's in your head, but it does feel better. And sometimes I'll even wear them to sleep if my legs are really ache. They, sometimes they say, don't do that, but I do. Just You gauge how you feel with them on. So these here were around $15, $16 to the house, this variety of color. So we'll just go ahead and take the white and grays off here. Because I'm sure they're the same, just different color. We will go ahead, take these out of the package. Now these feel a little thicker than those black pair, to be honest with you. And they've got like a rib design on the inside, I can feel. You can see the inside of that is because it's woven, it's got textures. But they're a little more stylish, if these things can be stylish. <laughs> So you're not looking like you're walking around in compression socks all the time. Looks like you just left the soccer field, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So let's go ahead and pair these. I'll put the black ones up against them. You probably can't see it because of how tall I am. Most of the time I cut my head off when I'm making these videos. So the foot area on the black ones look like they're longer. You're getting an area of about 8 inches from toe to heel. And with these other ones, you're only getting about 6 inches. So for larger feet, I don't know how that's going to work out. Of course, they are stretchy. And the overall measurement is also coming to about 22 inches. Oh, back and neck is getting me today. So what these you have to do is you have to roll them down into like a little round circle, like a scrunchie. Oh, scrungy like your women like to wear on the back of their hair. And these are pretty tight, so you may need some assistance with this. 
I just got off the rebounder, so I'm a little bit looser, even though my neck and all is hurting. And maybe try to pull them apart a little bit, just stretch them out this way. So, if you know my health issues, I'm not as bendy as I used to be. I've got some cervical disc issues, actually some repairs to my cervical disc. So you're going to have to take your time, I guess, and just kind of work it on little by little. And hopefully your fingers are working good. <laughs> Go ahead and start pulling them up. Wow. These are definitely tighter than those black ones. Maybe once we get up here a little bit, they'll release a little bit. But, ah, oh, damn. Darn. <laughs> okay, so now they just pulled. Now we'll just try to pull them up over top. So these are not, for me, going to go over the calf or over the knee. Oh, but they are pretty darn tight. Now, like I said, I'm a, I'm a 12. Could you go a little bit bigger? Maybe they'll stretch a little bit to a, a 13. I don't know about a 14. I think that's about it, but they're nice and tight. But that's what you want with these things. They're going to compress those those veins and those uh, nerves. So overall, they're pretty thick. I mean, they're not real thin. Um, if we're trying to tear them, they're pulling up so there's no tears. The elastic is staying there. I'm going to say that these are pretty good. I'll cut. I'm going to take a break here on the camera. I'll go ahead and put the other side on, and I'll show you that. You don't want to see me struggling doing that. Okay, so success. I got them on. Ah, <laughs> they are tight. If you are not familiar with compression socks, you're going to have to get used to them because, because it's going to be a feeling you're not used to with that extreme tightness. But that's what they're designed to do. Of course, not being made in the United States, uh, not putting down China products, but they're usually made for smaller people, a smaller ethnicity of people, I would say. Americans run a little bit bigger. That's a proven fact. Look at our shoes, the way our shoes are measured. But all in all, I'm going to say I give these a thumbs up. I think they work uh, pretty good. I've walked around with them a little bit to try to stretch them out. The other thing I would suggest, if you can or get somebody else to do it, is clip your toenails shorter. Because you may tear these trying to put them on. I don't know, maybe over time, after they go through a few washes, they may um, you know, tighten that fabric up or to where it's not as stretchy and you may end up uh, putting your toenail through it. I mean, here's my toes right there. And they're... They're pushed right in there pretty good. So I'm going to recommend these. I'll give them a thumbs up. I'll give you a link, and uh, I usually do to any of the products that I showcase on my channels. If you're interested, go ahead and look them up. As for consistency between the two socks, the fabric might be off a little bit. This one has a little larger heel in the blue area. Maybe the way they pulled it off when they were stitching it. I don't know. It's not really that noticeable unless you're really looking for it. But all in all, I think they're pretty decent. So once again, hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please click that link down there at the bottom. You never know what I'm going to come up with next. Thanks for sticking with me on this channel. I know it's a newer channel and I'm trying to get it off the ground compared to my other channel which is up there. If you want to click that, that's on all kinds of stuff. It's on DIY projects when I feel like I can do them. But hey, thanks for watching. Please share with your friend. The links and the links to any products I showcase will be at the bottom of the uh, description page on YouTube underneath this video. So good luck on your healthy journey. Take care.